just went over the Continental Divide 8,550 feet here and we're about uh, uh, I'm not sure this is a rough road so you're probably going to have a lot of road noise and probably other noise but I'm on Highway 191 going from Springerville, Arizona to Alpine, Arizona which is about 30 miles it's a rough road again but uh, yeah, 8,550 feet across the Continental Divide. Temperature 61 degrees at 8 a.m. Arizona time. And I'm surprised that there's, there's more traffic on this road than I thought. I mean, uh, I, I thought it was virtually going to be a a county road with no traffic but as it turns out uh, there's quite a not a well to me quite a bit I mean if I see 10 cars in an hour that's a lot of traffic but yeah so we're about th probably five miles out of uh, Alpine Arizona and uh, the elevation in Alpine is 8,000 feet so we go down a little bit but isn't this beautiful it's a beautiful drive and, and I love the the smell of the pine trees or the forest whatever and uh, I'm certainly not speeding along so I'm not making a lot of friends here but that's not my goal in life is not to make a lot of friends I just want to enjoy myself If I make a few friends, good. If you want to take a nice drive and have a picnic, there's a, a lake behind us. You saw that in the other video. Uh, but, you know, there's some places to uh, pull over, not many. And then there's some forest roads that you could go down and maybe have a picnic or something. But, you know, the difference between, you know, like let's say I was pulling my RV or driving my motorhome right now. Uh, there's a sign there for Big Lake off to the right. And I'm sure there's a Big Lake there. How about that? It's 17 miles to Big Lake. Okay, and this says, Welcome to Alpine. But what I was going to say was, if you were in an RV, motorhome pulling an RV or whatever, you, you, you pass through these areas, they're, they're pretty, and you, you say to your wife or girlfriend, whatever, yourself, you know, look how beautiful it is, and you chat about it. But if you're, do like, if you're doing like I do, where I'm staying at an RV park in Springerville for a month, then, you know, I can chill out and enjoy this. You know, I don't have to worry about, well, I've got to get to my, my destination by two or whatever. Then I can relax and enjoy what's here, you know? It's kind of like putting it under a microscope instead of a telescope. And stay a while. You know, I mean, I can spend hours here if I want to. And I probably will. But I'm just doing this video to show you that the drive from Springerville to Alpine is nice. The road is rough. Uh, the pavement is rough. I mean, it's not it's not like a cow pasture uh, road. It's, it's, a, it's, it's paved. It's just there's some pavement missing. Speed reduced ahead, that little, well you may be able to see that little group of houses ahead, maybe not, the turn. It says speed limit 45, so we're getting into the town. And, but it's not much here, I mean, according to Google, it looks like the population was about four or 500 maybe. It says elevation 8,046 feet, founded 1879. Huh, that was my, the same day I was born. No, I'm 79, I'm sorry. I'm gonna see if I can find that. There is a statue, I, I thought, here in Alpine of a lady, you know, one of the old frontier ladies, they, they did a monument to recognize, it may not be here, it might be in another town around here. But yeah, we're here in Alpine, and ain't much.
Okay, there's the ranger station, Apache National Forest. Three fifty nine a gallon for is this guy gonna set up a one man roadblock? Uh that's it, folks. <laughs> we'll go down here a while that weighs and see what we can find. I got stuff rattling here. O'Hannigan Meadow, Morency's 91. That was that town that's a company owned town. Next service is 22 miles. He's probably telling me the next turnaround is 22 miles. I was hoping to see if there was an RV park out here somewhere. I think they show a few on the, the uh, internet. We may have to just make us a turnaround here, guys. Oh, here's one right here. Coronado Trail RV Park, 300 yards. <laughs> well, let's go down there. That'll be my turnaround spot. Kind of pretty, isn't it? <laughs> Finally got off that rough road. Is this it right here? If it is, you passed it. Seemed like they'd have another sign. Now the traffic is, here we are right here. Is this Coronado? I thought it was going to be on the right. Okay, this says, for those of you that you want to know, Coronado Trail Cabins RV Park, and it's 928-339-4772. And now I'm going to drive. Boy, it's packed, though, too. This is not, uh, uh, the, well, it's okay. It's, it's what it is. You know, RVs and RV tents, i got to go this way. Yeah. Yeah, you can see they that they're packed. I mean, they're they got them in here. But some of these people may leave their unit here year round. I don't know, because some people do that in RV parks. It says and cab. Oh, there's more RVs back in the back there. So this is a big old good one. There's a little casita. Can you believe I lived in one of those for, I don't know, two years or more? Uh, now, now we got to turn around, I think. Or there might be a road to the left. Or there might be a road to the right. Or there's a road to the left and right. How about that? Well, let's go left. I mean, they got RVs all over this place. I mean, you won't believe it. They, they have filled up this forest with RVs. Enter by invitation only. Well, I'm not invited, so I won't go there. Actually, I'm just looking for a place to turn around. Let's go this way. You don't have to be invited over here. It's probably a one way, you know, I'm going the wrong way on a one way. But we're gonna turn around as soon as I can and get the hell out of here. I mean, I've seen about all the RVs I wanna see. You could get turned around in here. You know what I mean? Uh, let's do this here, I'm gonna turn around. Let's back up here. I think there's a road behind me here. Let's see, I don't want to back into a tree. Yeah, we got her going here now. Well, they got enough signs that say RV tenants only, no trespassing, no nothing. Basically, if you don't live here, get the hell out. I am. It's it's certainly crowded. I will say that. It is certainly they certainly got a lot of RVs. So for those of you that wanted to stay at Coronado RV Park near Alpine, Arizona, now you know what you're into. Okay. 
Now this is the entrance up here. I man, they got the RVs though. You know, it's like uh, you know, you build it, they will come. That old boy knew a shortcut, didn't he? Coronado Trail. They got cabins and other stuff. And that sign over there says, Route not plowed or patrolled. Is it route or route? Mobile home repair dealer. A sign. Well, here we go back. Okay, that was fun. But we're not through yet. We should get started. I mean, I'll, I'm, I'm going to go back to uh, Alpine. Well, how about that? Now I learned that if I wanted to stay at Al Coronado Park, nope, it won't work for me. I like my spot there in Springerville. Where I can just spring around and see. There's another place on the left there. I'm not sure that's RV Park. Well, no, that's Meadows Edge. That is RV Park. Oh, good. Small one. You know, I think that those two are kind of hooked up together. One of them doesn't have full hookups, the other one does. I mean, they're owned by the same people, I think. Okay. What do we do here now? Uh, Luna. Let's turn down the road toward Luna. Since I'm a lunatic, let's go down toward Luna. Well, I'll be right in the sun, but we won't go long. We'll just go down here a little ways and see what's down here. Oh, this is this is good. This is where all the stuff is. This is where the stores and stuff are. So I'm glad I turned here. Here's a little. Is that a cafe? Uh, there's something. It's called Bear Wallow Cafe, and it's it's got a lot of cars. So they must be doing, doing something. There. Alpine Country Store, and. Uh, Okay, well, so this is the main section, but we are definitely going into the sun. We're not going to go long because I'm going to turn around. There's a library, which is right. Do I want to go to the library? Not right now. Well, did I just miss my last turnaround point? We'll turn around right here. Turn around to the fire station. Now watch them have a fire. <laughs> they get a call, I get smashed. Okay. So let's go the another way. Uh, okay. Well, I gotta turn my neck up 90 degrees here. All right, here we go. They got some more cabins out there. You see those straight ahead there? I'll give you the name of them if I can. The library's not open. It's only 8, 10 a.m. Arizona time. Those are neat cabins. I'll tell you the name of them. They're called Escadilla Cabins. Is that right? Well, ain't this something? Here we are in Alpine, Arizona on August the 2nd, 2024 at 8, 10 a.m. and it's 66 degrees. How about that? I'm gonna roll the window down. There's a restaurant and saloon. Ain't this interesting? Here's a place here, it says ice, beer, groceries, sub sandwiches, and ice cream. That's about everything you need, ain't it? We've got a hardware store, but I don't think it's open anymore. 
there's the RV park. It says Alpine Grill and Steel. Live music five to eight. It's a pretty busy little area here. There's a, some cabins for sale by owner. Do I want to own some cabins here? No. No, I don't. Okay. All right. This is a, there's a tackle shop over there. It must have something to do with football. Alpine Real Estate. What is this here? I don't think it's any actually. It says no trespassing. Well, I'm gonna pull up here in the shade and end this video. Yeah, that's that little old restaurant straight ahead there. It's pretty busy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna park here for a minute. Why? I don't know. I ain't got nothing else to do. But anyway, guys, from Alpine, Arizona, on a uh, Friday morning, uh, beautiful day, I'm gonna walk around here in a minute and check it out. I may walk over to that little restaurant and see what they got. So any of y'all enjoy yourself. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want. Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, stand guard at the door of your mind and enjoy your life your way, the best way you can. All right? Sure smells fresh here. It does. 61 degrees. Adios. Bye bye.